Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a combo box using uh, Visual C++. I'm using Visual Studio's 2010 and uh, I will be using um, the Visual Assist X add-on which allows you to basically use IntelliSense uh, which 2010 does not have. Other uh, versions like 2008 does have the, visual, the IntelliSense so if you have 2010 I um, suggest you either download this one or some other ones. Uh, I've only read about a couple other ones and I um, downloaded this one for the free trial. Um, now what we're going to do first is we're going to open a new project. There's two ways obviously use file new and project or control shift in. I use control shift in because it's faster. Um, pick Visual C++, CLR, okay, Windows Form App give it a name I call I'm gonna call it YouTube uh, combo box when that loads up we're going to uh, add a couple things um, with your toolbar right now I don't have a toolbar up so I'm gonna click view I'm sorry I keep calling it a toolbar but it's a toolbox and toolbox sometimes it comes up like this I like to click this down arrow and hit doc as tab document uh, if it gets real big what you do is you just grab this here and you move it out around the screen you'll see this tab here it'll put it right there for you okay um, or I meant to hit the second one there uh, you can resize this if you want to I like to think about that not a big deal right um, you're gonna click on all window forms then we're gonna add three buttons you can click and drag three buttons or you can uh, copy and paste three over here. Um, I'm going to move these around. I'm going to get them aligned so they're a little bit easier to see. I'm going to change the name of these buttons so that um, they're easier to follow. I'm going to have an add button. I'm going to have a delete button and I'm going to have a display button. Uh, so once you click one button, right click, go to properties. That'll bring up your properties box. All right. Uh, right here in text is what I'm going to change the name of add okay I'm going to click on this one properties delete click on this one since it's tabbed it's already going to just pop up so I don't have to go to properties each time and I'm going to call this display so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add from a text box to a combo box item then I'm going to show you how to delete from your combo box and then I'm going to show you how to dis display your uh, say your combo box or your text box uh, information to a label alright so let's add in a couple a uh, couple more uh, tools here we're going to add a combo box here okay we're going to add a text box Okay, and we're going to add a label. Cool. All right, so let's line these up a little bit, get them pretty. That looks good. Move them around. Okay, come on. There we go. All right. So my label, I want to do a couple things to it. I want to change properties by changing the text. Let's let's call that a uh, let's say display text here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ahead and change that alignment because I'm gonna make it bigger. So I'm gonna change it to middle center. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom here, and I'm gonna put a auto size of false, and then change the size. I played around with this number and came up with 240 uh, comma and then say 24 and that'll give you a pretty good size display box to fit inside that window and it put the text right in the middle when I click middle center okay now here comes the code simple very simple all you got to do is double click on whichever button you want to code so I'm going to double click that it's going to come up with this window here move excuse me I'm going to move these buttons over a little bit and 
So I like to clean this up right here. I like to bring it down and fit it like so. Basically for the add button, I'm going to tell the system to add to the combo box items um, what the text box says. So, all right, combo, you don't have to use capital, so it's combo. And we picked combo box one was our combo box, not combo box here. Okay, so it's combo box one. Then you do your arrow, that's a dash and a greater than sign. Um, icon or items, dash and then add, right? When you add that, you're going to say, I'm going to add what's in the text box one and what I wrote for the text. Okay, so you can give another arrow and then say text. Don't forget to uh, use your semicolon. All right, so that one's done for the add. Now we're going to go to delete. I'm going to change it up just a little bit here to show you an example of what you can do. Um, I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to say combo box one items and in this case I am removing or deleting you know I, I use the word remove I'm gonna del I'm gonna delete it from the combo box text which is the the top line when you select something it moves it to the top line uh, I'm gonna remove that use whatever I click on to remove from the list so I'm gonna write combo box this time combo box one as is and then I'm gonna tell it the text that I select okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a semicolon and then the last one to code is the display um, I'm gonna move this over here we go and I'm gonna write uh, basically what's in my label one text right and I want that to equal what's in my combo box one text and semicolon basically we're all done so we're gonna go here we're gonna run that that that, that there is the uh, play button so it'll start debugging and run the program for you let it load looks like we're good all right here we go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add let's say we're gonna add hello world First, I'll show you that it's not in the combo box. See nothing in there. So, hello world. We're going to add that. Now it's in the combo box. Let's go ahead and add something else like uh, James Smith. Click add. It is also in the combo box. All right, so I'm going to pick hello world and I would say display. Basically, all it did was it sent the signal from this text portion of the combo box up to here. You could have used uh, in this code here, you could have changed this to text box and it would have displayed the James Smith or whatever I have typed in right here at this moment. So, um, if I change it to James Smith now, it will display what's here. Now, if I wanted to delete something, um, since I have it set to, uh, I just messed up, but what I was basically saying was if you would have changed this one into uh, to text box down here on the uh, button three for display, it would have moved this up here, not this one. So this one is your, your delete button. Um, your delete button is going to remove whatever's in the text, in the combo box text from the combo box. So if I click delete, James is now gone. Re-add it, okay, pick it again, and delete, James is now gone. Pick that, delete, hello world is gone, although it didn't delete it from the top. So it is gone now. The only way it'll come back is if I re-add it. So, hello world, add, there you go and I'll display that. So that's my uh, first tutorial on YouTube. Um, I would like to thank uh, a man by the name of Bucky. He goes from the uh, YouTube channel of The New Boston um, and he does a lot of C++ and other programming languages tutorials 
I've watched many, I've watched all of his uh, tutorials for the C++ and it got me started. So if you're tr just now getting started on C++, go there. That'll, those things will help you a lot. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing more, more tutorials. Um, yeah, I don't know how subscribe and all that stuff works really, how good it is or how bad it is. So if you want to, do it. Uh, su subscribe to me um, and send me messages. I'll, if I find time, I'll check them and reply. All right, guys. See you later.